one of the more interesting, probably more, one of the delightful events I'm covering at the moment is the uh, Beer and Cider Festival down here at the Villa Marina. Uh, I mean, Mr. Okay, this has been uh, something that's got bigger and bigger every year, hasn't it? I mean, I'm up at uh, the, uh, the Freemasons. Freemasons Hall. Yes. And now we move here for the last few years. Yes, indeed. And yeah. a nice twist. We've got some pictures to start with here of the governor, no less, uh, coming along the promenade on the very first horse tram of the year with a case of some very, well, a keg of some very special beer. Indeed. A cask of, yeah, a cask of Ockel Striskelian beer, uh, which has been specially brewed. Uh, and the governor, lieutenant governor, was very, very kind uh, to accept our offer to open the, uh, the festival uh, and deliver the first cask of Triskelion, Oakles Triskelion Ale. Right. It is difficult to say. I was going to say, and this is my first one. Let me have a couple more and I'll be a little bit more lucid. We'll come to this in just a second because yeah. this is a special brew. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, the very first horse tram of the season. I mean, yes, I don't think it's second on Saturday as such, officially. Uh, yes, they're meant to start on Saturday, yeah. but because we requested uh, a special uh, run out with it, uh, <laughs> the de <laughs> Department of Infrastructure very kindly agreed to let right, us yeah. use it. Yeah. Now, this looks bigger than I've seen for some time. I mean, well, ever. I mean, it, every year it does get bigger. More people it, have more things they want to. It, it does. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Sorry, we're yeah. getting a push in the back. And uh, yeah, it started off fairly modestly, uh, but year on year it's grown and grown. Uh, we get more and more people coming across, especially for the festival. They come to the Isle of Man just to visit the beer festival. These camera members. These are camera members. Uh, they bring their members uh, or their friends and their family, uh, and it just has grown. It, it's it's wonderful. It's good news for the island. Obviously, I mean, no, not all local beers and, and ciders. I mean, you, you know, fair few brought in. No, no, uh, the majority of are brought in. Uh, we obviously showcase the four breweries. That's uh, Old Boston yeah. Bitter. Uh, hooded Ram, Bushes and of course Ockels, yep. uh, but the majority of them, we have over 160 beers here and they're chosen by a committee of real ale enthusiasts and I was fortunate to be part of that and we whittle them down. We have a, a rule of thumb, we try and get all the beers that nobody else has ever heard of on our committee. Yeah. Now there's one or two, obviously a lot of people have come from across, they'll say, oh that's our local beer. Uh, for instance over there we have the Kent Bar, that's uh, mainly Kent beers, uh, they bring over a, a lot of their uh, camera members, so they will know their beers, but they can talk to the clientele here about their beers. <laughs> now the, the governor yeah. Uh, had a very important task to do when he's here. We got some shots of this uh, with Pulley Man being the recipient because Alzheimer's are a beneficiary, aren't they? Indeed, they are. Uh, each year, the festival nominates a chosen good cause. I don't really like the word, but it's the best one to use. Uh, last year, it was Bill Dale's uh, Beach Buddies. This year, the nominated charity is Alzheimer's Society, of which Michael Cowan, alias Pulleyman, is their front. The figure. man. The, the man. man. Yeah. He's the man. And he does his poetry on... Uh, we've got, we got these great pictures here of the governor putting on a hat. I mean, it is quite funny, yeah, yeah. the pulley yeah. man's hat. That's right, it's pulley man's hat. Uh, yeah. It's brilliant. So, uh, that's it, we're underway. Uh, this is a, a special beer. And this is a special beer for it. It's brewed by the Hooded Ram Brewery. Uh, it's called Pulley Man All Day Ale. Oh. And it's a pale ale. It's 4.3%. It is delicious. It's hoppy. And yes, you could drink this all day. Before we finish then, we're going to get times of opening for people who want to come down. It is open to the public now, isn't it? It is indeed. It was open at uh, 5 o'clock, yeah. a couple of hours ago now. Uh, we're open till 11 o'clock on tonight. Uh, tomorrow, which is the Friday, we open at 12 o'clock till close, which is 11 o'clock. And the same with Saturday. And on Friday and Saturday, we also have live music. We have the three, three acts. So that's all here in the magnificent Royal Hall. If it runs to, to form, there will be some that will be sold out, though, before that, won't I'm they? afraid so. Happens. It always happens. It's one of the most difficult jobs on the planet Knowing is to know how much ale to order because we don't know, A, how many people are coming through the door, and we certainly don't know how thirsty they're going to be. But come on down, you know, and you take your, pays your money, you take your choice.